Let's try it again. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. January 7, 2022. Welcome to Finish Your Breakfast with AV. I am your host, AV, a.k.a. Alpha Villain. It's Friday, episode 50. It's a nice round number. Done 50 of these episodes. It's been a pleasure. It's been an honor to do this. You know what I'm saying I'm still enjoying it. I'm working for free. But I got a vision. I got a vision. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback. A lot of you guys are enjoying the content. I progressively am getting better, learning how to find my way, my lane, looking for that secret sauce, looking for that secret recipe to take this shit to the next level. I appreciate everybody for being here, man. We stream in live on several different platforms every day. Facebook, the Alpha Villains Podcast. If you're not following me there, please make sure you're following me on Facebook, the Alpha Villains Podcast. I got a Twitch channel in 4K quality. Alpha Villains for all my gamers out there that help me get my weight up over there. Twitter, Villains Alpha One, Villains Alpha One. Follow me on Twitter. And if you are not following me on Instagram, please make sure you do that. Okay, I appreciate it. Merch of the week, merch of the week, money handsome. You already know talking about it earn earn a living create a life that you want to live punch your own clock be the best suitor for a woman that you choose to have next to you women want to feel secure they want to be safe why not be the one to make them feel safe success object men men are gauged on what they create and what they can provide the value that they provide www.alphavillains.com is where you can find it. Promo code is AVMAN. AVMAN is the promo code. It's 20% off. I appreciate everybody. The road to 1,000 subscribers, guys. The road to 1,000 subscribers, please. One of the ways that you guys can help me do that is continuing to like the video if you like it, leaving comments, sharing the video, turning on your notifications, and helping me get to 1,000 subscribers. We're almost there. It's a slow process. Um, but you know, I got to earn every subscriber. I can't ride off on anybody's back anymore. I got to try to do this on my own. So I appreciate everybody's support and for helping me out. Shout out to Reese, the merciless, Mr. Black, sending me a donation yesterday. I appreciate you, my G. Make sure you guys follow Reese. He's the one half of the Carbon Ops broadcast. Salute to Diggy. I know Reese is doing kind of doing his own thing right now, kind of branching off, but shout out to those boys, man. They always show me support out the Bay Area. All right, we got a good topic today, man. Men are crazy, bro. Men are crazy. And what inspired this video or the stream today is basically men continue to do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. How do I know that? AV, what you talking about? How do you know that, AV? I got my ear to the streets, bro. I got my ear to the streets. I don't have time to watch a lot of content, but the content that I do watch is either because um They've supported me and I support them or I still enjoy their content. Not that many. You know what I'm saying I still listen to my mentors. It helps me and incentivizes me and pushes me to do better if they're doing good and they're doing better than me. We all in competition and that's what men should be doing, embracing competition. But I listen to the comments. I listen to the call in shows. I listen to the questions and a lot of you guys still have the same concerns with women. Still are doing the same things. You asked the question last week. Now you asking in another panel, acting like nobody remembers you from the last panel or the last show. Men are crazy. Basically, in a nutshell, I mean, you guys continue to do the same things over and over again, expecting a different result. If it's not working for you, you got to change it. Somebody's not going to give you a magic formula, bro. Somebody you guys would rather hear comforting lies 
instead of hearing the truth. And this is why you always, your life is going to be a lie. It's going to be a sham because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing or you're not deciding to change your approach towards what, the, towards the things that you want. So we're going to talk about it today. Let me say good morning to everybody. There he is, unique, all the way in London on his lunch break. I appreciate your assistance, man. You've been leaving me comments on my on my streams, reintroducing me to the audience, man. I appreciate that, bro. Let's get the likes up, everyone, and subscribe when you come in. Absolutely. Cash App, Alpha Villains, yes. Guys, donations are free. If it's payday for you, you like how, what I'm doing, you want to support the machine, feel free to donate, bro. Feel free to donate. It incentivizes me to keep doing this shit. Like I said, I'm working for free. It's a choice that I made. Don't nobody feel bad for me. It's a choice that I made. But I would definitely like to do this full time. Uh, do more than one stream per day and kind of earn a living while helping you guys out. So help appreciate you. Check in and good morning, Iceberg. Peace, my G. Hope all is well with you. I appreciate Iceberg is showing me love. He, he always checks in. Whatever he's doing, that's all it takes, man. If you guys are doing something this morning time, you got kids, you're getting your kids ready, you're stuck in traffic, check in. If you're enjoying, you rocking with me. I appreciate you. Good morning, bro. Pharaoh Phoenix, you need to skip your breakfast, my brother. Ooh, chill. You can't skip your breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Hopefully my message is too. Good morning, Pharaoh Phoenix. New name, new name. Yeah, so we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about why men are crazy, bro. Why men are crazy. And I realized that a lot of you guys, it's evident, right? So I listen to a lot of the content. You turn on YouTube. I say you clear your cash, you clear your cookies, you listen to YouTube. And the majority of the YouTube, the algorithm and all that shit, everything that YouTube is feeding us is regarding women. Those are the most popular videos. If I put something out here that's that's um, positive, that's going to teach you something, um, you don't want to hear it. And not just me. I, I never really realized this, but a lot of my content creators, guys that 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 that, that have embraced me, that kind of taught me some things. The, the the least successful, the least viewed videos are the ones that are about self improvement, focusing on your goals in twenty twenty two, identifying how to be how to become self sufficient. You guys want to keep hearing about women. So again, there's more money in the disease than the cure, right? Nobody wants to be cured. Nobody wants their mind to be corrected. People just want to figure out and reinvent the wheel. They want to figure out how to manipulate a woman, get sex from a woman, make her yield to you, make her submit to you, make her be feminine, make her do all these things without you putting in the work. And that's backwards. You guys keep doing different things. You try different strategies. You incorporate the hope strategy where you're thinking that one day, you're going to meet a bro that's going to do something different than the last bro. No, sir. If you want to change, you got to be the change that you want to see. You got to be the proof. You got to be the proof. You got to lead by example. You got to lead from the front. Listening to me, listening to other content creators that make sense, that are masculine, things that you respect, is not the only thing that you need to do to become better, bro. You guys are doing the same thing. How many of us? have not changed our diets, but you expect something different. You're still overweight. You're still tired. How many of us are still messing with dating apps? And this is no knock. I'm just asking questions, right? I know we, we some of us mess with apps. That's fine. Yo, do you. Listen, as you know, I'm doing, I'm doing, um, this channel for me is to pose questions to make us think. I'm not knocking anybody. That's not my style. And it's not productive. I mean, it's not, it's not how is that helping anybody? But at the end of the day, if you continue to do the same thing and you're getting the same results, you have to ask yourself, when are you going to stop doing it? That would be considered crazy. That is something that women do. Women wish on a star, man. Like I said, I always like to bring this guy up, Derek Jackson. Shout out to Derek Jackson. It was a big fiasco. He's married. He's married, I believe. Yes, he's married. And he was always, I think he made a big, his career and made it big by lying to women saying that, you know, if you're overweight, it don't matter. Um, you can get a man. You deserve a man. All this shit. Lying to women, telling them they don't need to put in any work in if they, and, and they deserve, they deserve what they want. That's incorrect. That's a lie. And women still, you know, and then after he blew up, people thought he was finished, but he actually still doing his thing. There's a lot of women outside 
that are still listening to him because they'd rather listen to a lie. They rather they're still doing the same thing with no results. They're still alone, they're still bitter, etc. The same can be said for you guys, some of you guys outside. You really think that if you keep looking, it's a numbers game. Talk to 20 bros, talk to 20 women a day, you're gonna find one. Maybe, but do you have that time? You know how long it takes to find to, to talk to 20 women a day to try to diversify your portfolio, to try to talk to somebody just to find one person. You're not allocating your time properly, bro. This is what what some people would consider insane. It's crazy for you to continue to do that, to put so much energy into something, knowing, knowing that the odds are stocked, are stacked against you. Now, I don't want no PUAs or gang coaches attacking me. It's up to you. I don't I mean, but at the end of the day, I'm not saying not to talk to chicks. If you're interested in a chick, fine. But if you're interested in a chick and you keep doing the same thing, you keep looking for women in the same locations and you're not getting any results, the problem is you. That's considered crazy. That's considered crazy. Men need to focus. Men are doing things right now. They are incorporating female traits to try to get to be understood by another woman. Devon Franklin. You guys know who Devon Franklin is? Devon Franklin is Megan Good's soon-to-be ex-husband. Now, everybody thought he was crazy for, for, for wifing up this broad Megan, Megan Good. She's beautiful, et cetera. She's a, hot, she's a hot chick. I like her. I like the way she speaks. She got a nice little body. But she's been around town. Now, this guy, Devon Franklin, kind of did the Sam Rothstein saying, I could change her. I'm Sam Rothstein. You can't change a woman unless she wants to be changed, bro. And Devon Franklin, even though some of us are applauding him finally for giving, you know, divorcing her, the other day he went on Instagram and he posted a picture of himself crying. Posted a picture of himself crying on the gram to, I guess, to, I guess to get some, some sympathy, to get some sympathy from us. That's crazy. That's insane. Like, what are you trying to do? See, this is what I'm talking about. Men are doing things that are not conducive to masculine. You can't do shit like that to be respected, bro. Yes, men have emotions, but you can't act like that because you're not leading by example, bro. A lot of women are turned off by men who act like women, bro. Women don't want emotional men. Women don't want to date themselves. They want to date an opposite. They want to date a leader, okay? Unique says, AV, women have their moments, but since joining these channels, I have come across many guys in chat rooms. YouTube comments and telephone callers who are deluded as many women are. It works both ways. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, listen, man, I'm not saying, bro, again, I, you've heard my L's, you know, periodically I'll, I'll share some more L's when they come to mind, right? Had a lot of L's in my life. This silly shit, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what I thought it was supposed to do. But all this content, all these calls, all these calling shows, you guys are doing the same shit. It makes no sense. It shows it's a reflection on where you are. It is and it and it shows us to me, it shows that you're really reliant. You're really reliant on this content with no backup plan. If these these content creators stop doing this, YouTube yanks this shit. They say, yo, the, all this red pill shit is, is bad for business. They take it up, what y'all gonna do? got to focus on yourself you got to apply the things that you have learned thus far and see if they work for you bro you can't keep doing the same thing i always say life begins when you step out of your comfort zone when was the last time you guys challenged yourself when was the last time you challenged yourself when was the last time you really stopped talking to a woman and really identified that you're the one that needs help you can't do the same things and expect a different result bro if you don't eat less you're not going to lose weight it doesn't matter when are you going to realize that being a man is part of being a man is being realistic in your, in your environment and understanding that you have to do things. If you want things that uh, you've never had, you got to do things that you've never done. You know that women are not the prize, bro. You're the prize, right? So why do you consist on putting in effort, so much effort to try to understand something that is not that complicated or complex, bro? It's your fault. Iceberg says they keep doing the content because it sells on. And on top of that, these guys probably aren't applying the game properly. Absolutely. Listen, it's a business, right? Listen, bro. 
I'm not knocking that. I'm entering this field. So I understand the business model. You got to keep doing this. More, there's more money in the disease than the cure. I'm not knocking no dating coaches, no OGs that did the shit before me. Whatever works. You know what I mean? There's a new niche now. The the the, the content creation and the space is changing now. Now it's becoming more toxic. Pardon me. It's becoming more toxic amongst ourselves. Now we make a lot of dudes are making more money. They eating off of each other based on talking off talking on um uh, against one another. So if somebody drops the ball, they make a mistake publicly. There's gonna be a lot of people talking about it. That's gonna get a lot of views. It's gonna blow up their channels. More power to you, bro. That's fine. I'm not really knocking that. What I'm saying is for guys who want to live in the real world, right? The quote unquote real world and keep doing the same thing with little results. That will be considered crazy, okay? So they continuously get bad results, absolutely. Unique says, facts about dating apps, AV. I'm consistent, constantly tweaking my approach on them. Instead of just swiping, I immediately send women messages on their photos. Good, good. You're try it's, it's trying different things. Like, how many times have I changed the background of this show? <sighs> the format, things that I'm covering. I'm still learning, right? So I can't expect... I can't expect my show, my channel to blow up by doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, you got to give yourself time. You got to plan to see, you got to give it time to grow. But at the same time, you got to make sure that you're constantly trying to evolve and not doing the same thing, okay? Iceberg says, unique. Have you noticed the amount of bios women have begging to be taken out on a date or how frustrated, frustrated they're dating like someone get me off app, please, et cetera. I'm seeing it a lot recently. Damn. I've been, yo, a lot of you guys have been saying that too. A lot of women's bios, they're becoming a little bit more honest. They're becoming a little more honest in regards to what's going on out there. Because listen, guys, even if, yes, women have more dicks thrown at them, they have more abundance because guys are weak. They want to just have sex. That's fine. But it's still a cesspool out there for women too, bro. Don't get it twisted. Women have a lot of dicks. They're having more sex than the average guy right now. Fine. They're being taken out more than the average guy. Fine. But it's a cesspool for them too. So it's a mess outside. So at the end of the day, I wouldn't, and you know, to be honest with you, I don't really trust those dating apps too, bro. Cause like I said, I, I dabbled in it before. And a bra says, I'm not looking for a hookup. The bras that say they're not looking for a hookup, they hook up on the first night. It's a one and done. So, you know, trust your eyes, not your ears and all of that. But never put too much stake into somebody that you don't know, man. That's why t time reveals content creators. Things like that, you know, consistency. Those are the things that you really have to look at to see whether or not this is somebody that's re relatively trustworthy, right? So very important. R P A. Hey, 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 everyone. Peace, peace. Good morning, my brother. We're talking about men being crazy, continuously doing the same things over and over again without getting the same results. Appreciate you for being here, guys. Make sure you guys follow and subscribe to RPA, The Real Pill Awareness. Thank you, Unique. There goes his Instagram. RPA says 100%. Life is about choices. And some people simply chose to work smart because that's where they find their meaning. Boom. The meaning. What is the meaning of your life, bro? A lot of dudes outside right now feel empowered because they have women. Listen, man. Again, pussy's great. Sex is good. I love conquering abroad. I love doing things, changing her mind. No doubt. You know, that some people would consider that stealing their soul. Fine. That's cool. Do you. But at the end of the day, man, if you want, if you, if you were a woman, if you were a woman and um, she's, she's, you know, she wants to be with you, that should be the standard, bro. That should be the norm. It shouldn't be a big deal. Okay. A lot of men are using women to validate their ego and their alpha status because they get a lot of bitches. But if I had the same things you had, if I was, you know, my status was up on point, I'd probably get the same, that bitch from, take that bitch from you. So at the end of the day, men need to really focus on what is important. And women are not that important, bro. They're not that important. And you will be surprised. The less you pay attention to them, collectively as a whole if men would stop paying so much attention to women women would turn around and behave in accordance to what we want as uh, from them okay unique says i don't side with men i don't side with women i side with the truth coach everett overton champion game shout out to coach yo that's what i'm saying like you can't it doesn't matter that's what i'm saying like and i and i kind of embrace and, and incorporate that tactic here 
it's not about disrespecting women. It's not about disrespecting men. It's about let's call it out. Let's call it what it is. If, if, if broads are doing something that's crazy, let's call it out. If it's affecting men, it's my job. My goal is to try to shed some light as far as the, the, the psychology behind it so you can understand and see the red flag and say, okay, this is why this broad is doing that, okay? RPA says people think of having more money giving you freedom, but once you get to a certain level, it's actually less because of the insane amount of responsibility you have to take on to get there. Bro, listen, man. I was thinking about this shit this morning while I was taking a shower, bro. I was like, yo, okay, 2022 is January, boom. A lot of you guys come to Miami. A lot of you guys come to Miami um, because, you know, the, the 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 rules here are very relaxed. The weather's nice. Chicks are beautiful, et cetera. You know, and uh, there were two guys that I was supposed to hang out with um, last couple of months. And I didn't even have time to hang out with them, bro. Like, I'm doing my nine to five. I'm working remote. I'm putting in a lot of work into this shit. I don't really have a life right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got a, I got a couple of chicks. Some lifers, whatever. Um, you know, they, you know, we, we we enjoy each other's company periodically. I have responsibilities outside of this shit. I don't really have a life right now, bro. And in 2022, it's all about finding your balance, right? So on one hand, I say, okay, you know what? AV keeps sacrificing with intent. I always tell you guys to sacrifice with intent. But there's some times when 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 it's quiet, I want to do different things. But me doing different things is going to take away from trying to build my brand. So you got to find a balance, bro. Getting more money is cool because it's going to create a life for you. But you, a lot of times, most of us don't even have time to enjoy the money because you're too busy working. You got to find a balance for yourself. And for me, it will be considered crazy to continue to, on this path without balancing out my life because I'm going to get burnt out. And time is going to pass. As I told you guys, once you once you hit 30, life starts to happen faster. Once you hit 40, life starts to happen faster. 45, past 45, life is going by like this, bro. It's already Friday. It's already Friday. Sometimes the days blend into one another. I don't even know what day it is unless I'm looking at the clock, I'm looking at work. You got to make sure that you're balancing out your time. And if you continue to do the same things over and over again, you're going to exhaust yourself. You're going to burn yourself out. You're not going to get results. And then you're going to get frustrated. Men are crazy. The definition of crazy is insane. Is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. You can't do that. Iceberg says, I knew women had problems, but damn, bro, it seems like we're going to, we're going to have a wig tail on our hands, man. Listen, we already know. Women have problems, bro. Women have problems. They're medicated. They're delusional, et cetera. We cannot, we cannot, based on that understanding, we cannot behave like them, bro. Is it easy? Of course not. You guys want to get your, your dicks wet. You want to have sex. You want to go out. You want to hang out. You want to spend some of this money. You want to have fun. You want to enjoy your life. You're not going to enjoy your life by chasing women, bro. You're going to enjoy your life and create a life that you can enjoy by chasing your purpose, chasing your goals. Now, when I say chase, I use it loosely, right? Because I said something a while back. When you chase something, when you chase something, it runs for me. When you are something, it comes to you. So that's what you got to focus on. My G. Shout out to Mr. 1950, the last traditional man on the planet. Shout out to Mr. 1950. Guys, do me a favor right now. Unique, if you don't mind, put his channel in there. Mr. 1950 has always shown me love. He's out in Cali right now, man. He's been grinding. Let's help him get to 10,000 subs. 10,000 subs, that's his goal. He's trying to do that for this year, man. I think he's got, he's well on his way, man. He's always shown me respect, man. I respect you back, my G. He had me on his show several times, and he's a real one. I fuck with 50 Heavy. I already told y'all that. Appreciate you, man. 50, yeah, 50 episodes every day. It's a grind. He's always showing me support. I'm always showing him support. And that's what this is shit is all about, man. I appreciate you, my G. Good morning to you, man. Happy Friday. Word. 10,000 subs. Let's get the homie to 10,000 subs, man. Make sure y'all leave comments on his videos too, bro. He's been putting out comments. His comments are a little low, man. Just like I said, man, the engagement. That's what's going to push. That's going to help um, YouTube push his channel. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, we just talking about how, why dudes are crazy because they, can, they keep doing the same thing over and over again. So I kind of wanted to talk about that. And talk about some of the things that turn women, that turn us off. 
that drives us crazy. You know what I'm saying with women. I want to go over an article. So let me see. How do I do this? I'm gonna go over another article with you guys today. Okay. All right, hold up. How do I do this? Boom. Let me get, let me get my, this avatar off. I right, bet. So boom. All right. Hold up. So I'm learning, guys. Learn how to do this shit. Hold up. I right, bet. Reasons why men lose interest in women. All right. This was um this was an article from the Times of India. India, the India Times. Oh shit, hold up. All right. So, like I said, you know, this this stream is basically men are crazy. They continue to do the same things over and over again. And things that drive us crazy. And a lot of women are delusional. They keep doing the same things over and over again. And I want you guys to understand that mimicking that, trying to resort to them to try to understand them. It's going to make you crazy. And you got to leave from the front, not the back. You can't follow women. You follow women. It's like chasing your tail. Okay? So reasons why men lose interest in women. Okay? Most women. Hold on. Hold on. I bet. Most women have experienced their men losing interest in them and pulling away at least once in their lifetime. It's like one day your man is devoted and so attracted to you. And the next thing you know, you're looking for ways. To, he's looking for ways to avoid you. And in no time, he seems distant. Whenever you both try to spend time together, this is more like watching your breakup in slow motion. This feeling where a man starts to pull away and lose interest, interest really hurts a lot. And if you choose to find out reasons why this happens, we've got you covered. The reason why, the reason why men are losing interest in women is because we realize that most women ain't shit. Respectfully, most of you bras ain't shit. You guys are following advice from women who don't have a man. You're following advice from women who have been promiscuous, have more than one child from different fathers. You're following the likes of Cardi B and Megan, the stallion, Lizzo, with no results. Those bras can do shit like that. You can't. <clears throat> this is what's driving us crazy. This is what's driving us crazy. And you guys need to understand. You guys need to understand that. Women are doing things, expecting different results, and that's what drives us crazy. You can't do that. Number two, your emotions are too loud. When you first meet a guy, you aren't fully attracted to him emotionally, and you can seem cool and calm all the time. But once you both have dated for a while, you tend to become more emotionally involved with your man. Your feelings will start to show, which is quite natural for women. Men start to sense how quickly their relationship moves from carefree to serious. And when they notice this, they don't know how to respond, so they pull away. See? These articles are encouraging women not to show their emotions. And what is that a trait? That's a masculine trait, right? Because we always talk about it. You got to, as a man, you got to compartmentalize your emotions and not be emotional. You have emotions. Obviously, you're human, but you're not emotional. So free tip. When you're dating a woman, you see some potential there. You see some prom promise there. Make sure that she is the one that is asking, what are we? Make sure she is the one that is vying, campaigning to be your, your woman and your girlfriend. Do not put yourself in a position and say, listen, you know what? I really like you. I want to make this official. You're giving the woman too much power. And the woman has a false sense of power and entitlement based on weak men that are placating to her and putting her on a pedestal. This drives men crazy. Don't do that. Number three, your insecurity. Your insecurity as a woman. If you're the type of woman who constantly nags your man about other women and or keeps a check on him and his phone every now and then, he'll know you ve you're very insecure. Interrogating your man about his female friends and questioning his every move is going to make him lose interest in you eventually. I can't stand that, bro. I told you the story. I got so many stories, bro. But I told you the story. About the broad, went out on a date with her. I liked her. I was in a relationship with her. Went out with her. This was in the beginning. Did the gentleman thing. Opened the door. Let the broad in the car. Walked around the car. As I'm entering the car in the in the in the in the middle compartment where you can kind of keep things, this broad <laughs> this broad opened up my shit, and um, she started looking through my paper, my glove compartment. Like, yo, what's wrong with you? Asking me all these questions, insecure, 
Men understand that you're insecure. We already know that. When you act on those insecurities, that's a big turnoff. That drives a man crazy. That's going to put a wedge between me and you. You can't do that. You got If you're so smart, you got to look to see what we're doing. A lot of women going to say, hey, you're supposed, you're supposed to make me feel secure. It's not my job to make you feel secure. You're supposed to understand that if I'm focused and I decided to put you in my in next to me, I decided to help, you know, to, to include you into my purpose, into my life. You don't have to take my word for it, bro. It is what it is. I can't watch you. I can't understand. I, I can't monitor everything that you're doing. At the end of the day, nothing is forever. The longer the relationship is, the more things you're going to overlook. And if it's something that, and if it's a relationship that's going to be beneficial to both of you, then we can rock out. Okay. Number four, you sound desperate, bro. Women sound desperate. If you notice your man pulling away, it might be because you're emotionally unequipped. This means that you're not happy with yourself and your man can easily become your sole source of happiness. This will suffocate him. And in no time, he will distance himself from you. This is a big one, bro. This is a big one. I know a lot of dudes on the internet and a lot of guys kind of advocate and tell and say, encourage you guys to get a woman who don't, doesn't have any friends. I can't have a woman. I'm not my, I can't be my girl's best friend, bro. I can't be my girl's best friend. I can't be my girl's only friend because now she's going to be all up on you. You're going to have to find, you're going to have to be entertaining her all the time. And if you're a man that has time to entertain a woman in this day and age with all this opportunity outside, all the money that you could possibly be earning, you're making a big mistake, bro. This is a big turnoff. Yeah, we want women that have friends that are productive, that are good role models. We don't want you hanging out with thotties. But if you continue to hang out with thotties, like I said yesterday, and you think that you're going to be considered to be a main chick, you're sadly mistaken. This is what drives a man crazy. This is what man, this is what causes a stress in a relationship. You can't hang out with women. You cannot hang out with women that are doing things that you that they shouldn't be doing or things that you can't be doing. Okay. Men don't want to be suffocated. We need some, some breathing room so you can give us an opportunity to miss you. Okay. Oh, now this is gonna be a controversial one, bro. You gave it up too soon. This is a recent article, too, by the way. Now, this is a recent article. When it comes to having physical intimacy, women and men are are total opposites. Women feel more emotionally connected and attracted when they sleep with a man. Guys, on the other hand, sleep with a woman and easily lose interest and move on. And so giving up sex with a guy too early can be one of your biggest mistakes for him to start pulling away from you. If you give it up too soon, he won't have to work for it. And chances are he'll be he'll put you down as just another fling. I disagree with this. Now, if the girl is doing showing me all her tricks, she's doing everything, she's letting me do all this nasty shit to her on the first night, then more than likely um, it's going to be a short-lived relationship. But at the end of the day, in 2022, bro, sex is not a big deal. Unfortunately. Sex is not a big deal. Sending nudes is not a big deal. There's so many nudes out there. I mean, yeah, dick pics and shit. That's you know, I don't do that shit anymore. <laughs> I used to. We all have one. If you if you say you never sent a dick pic, you cap it. I don't do that shit anymore. But giving it up too easily, bro, in 2022, sex, man, as long as you're being responsible, wearing protection, you got the chemistry, you set it up, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, like, and, and, and if you allegedly a high value, man, we're not waiting, bro. Now, I'm not encouraging you guys to force a broad to have sex with you, bro. If she doesn't want to have sex with you on the first night, that's fine. If you really like her, you might give her a second chance. But you dudes going out there spending $250 on a dinner, and you're not even getting a kiss at the end of the night, that's on you. Women have to understand, okay? If if you if you respect us, you want to be a part of the team, you want to be a part of, I guess, our rotation, or you want to be considered, considered, you're gonna have to give it up relatively quickly. Incrementally, that's what's important. A lot of you girls think that, see, I, this happened to me too, bro. Yo, this happened to me. There was this broad. I knew she liked me. All my boys said she liked me. There was interest there. I said, fine. I was seeing other chicks at the time. But I knew she liked me. So we kind of, you know what I mean? We kind of talked here and there. 
And uh, I wasn't in a rush because I was busy. I was doing my shit. I was grinding. And I had other chicks I was seeing. So I, I broke up with the other chicks and shit. And then we just kind of bumped into each other. And then we decided to um, we decided to, to go out. Now, I knew she liked me. I knew she was sexually active and shit. You know I mean, I knew somebody. You know, I've heard things about her. And she was acting brand new, bro. She was acting like. Like she wasn't like she wasn't into me, and the reason why she and you know I banged her out eventually, and the reason why she told me is just she told she said that she didn't want me she didn't want to feed my ego she didn't want me to think that I was gonna get the sex because she didn't want to feed my ego. That's a turn off. Yes, did I get the broad? Of course, I eventually got her. I knew I would, but what I'm saying is, women, it's crazy for you to think that if you don't give it up to a man, that we're gonna put you in a and we, we're not gonna we're not gonna consider you for something. Sex is not a big deal, unfortunately. If you give it up to us and it's good, and you have other attributes, other attributes that have a lot of potential, you could be in a long term relationship, bro. Okay. Iceberg says if you're dealing with a man with game, she's going to get the charge right away. Big facts. If she doesn't give it up, that's a big fact. That's a big fact. And don't sweat sex either too much, guys. Don't sweat sex either. I mean, even if you frustrated and shit, I'd rather you guys rub one out than sweat abroad. Because at the end of the day, man, do not give these women power, bro. They have a false sense of power, false sense of confidence. Kind of like getting too drunk at the club and you, you feel like you're tough now. You're not tough, bro. Okay? You're not tough. These are, these are things that are going to make you lose. It's going to make you seem crazy. And again, if you want... Things that you've never had, you have to do things that you've never done. Get out of your comfort zone. It's 2022. You're not getting the results that you want. You got to try something entirely different. Reinvent yourself. Reinvent yourself. Reintroduce yourself to yourself, bro. Number six, you're trying to force love. When you start dating a man, no matter how amazing it seems in the beginning, it's essential to keep your heart out of the situation. Only once you're both serious about your feelings is when you should move forward in the relationship. When a woman starts to get too emotionally involved, she will try to force love on the man. This not this might not be the case for the man, and he will soon pull away. That's a big one. Now, even though I expect a woman to fall in love with me, quote unquote, if you tell me you love me right away, bro, that's a red flag for me. And it's ludicrous for you to think. That's going to, that's going <laughs> to, that's going to affect my decision and whether or not you're going to be a man or not. That's delusional. And men seem to think, men seem to think and understand to this day, because I hear the questions and the frustrations you guys have, man. Now I'm not saying even if you are OG and I never had problems with women, doesn't mean that I don't have problems with women per se, right? Because I'm an older guy. And technology has really changed the way that the, the dating landscape is. But at the end of the day, if you have a solid sense of understanding of yourself and a solid understanding of what women are, what they do, it should really not affect you in that situation. Okay? You got to understand. You got to understand. Men and women are different. We're different for a reason. And if you continue to follow a woman's lead, you are going to go nowhere. It doesn't matter what you did. You're only as good as your last win. Okay. There's a lot of dudes out here talking about what they did in the past and why what they did in the past works. And now what the dudes are doing now won't work. Everything is relative. There's a lot of bad information out there. It's not my job to say who's better, who's the best, who's not. My job is to make us all think, right? Because this is how my brain works. See what you're listening to, hear what you're listening to, and identify it and see if it's going to work for you. If you continue to do the same thing, you continue to follow this person, you continue to listen to this person, you're going to be confused. Listen to yourself first, bro. Trust yourself. I think it's crazy for a man to not trust himself and trust somebody he's never met. Trust somebody who's not even using his real name. Trust somebody who's behind the microphone where you've never met. You understand? Like, you got to really start trusting yourself, man. And respect to everybody that's doing it. You know what I mean, that's helped a lot of men. But I always want you guys to be encouraged to help yourself first. I want you guys to help yourself first. How do you do that? 
You do things that make you feel good and are getting you the results that you need. If you keep doing the same thing over and over, you are not getting any changes. You're not getting the results that you need. You got to change your approach. Don't be afraid to change your approach. Nobody cares about you. Nobody wants to see you win. You got to see yourself win. Winners hang out with winners, right? If you a loser, if you a loser, you're going to stay a loser. Men are crazy. Because men continue to do the same thing. They chasing women. Knowing deep, deep, deep down women ain't shit for the most part. Want change? Be the proof. I appreciate everybody for being here, man. We dropped another one. Happy Friday. Keep grinding. Enjoy your weekend. Like the video. Share the video, man. And I'll see you guys next week. All right? Peace.